Hello everyone, my name is Sam Schmidt, a student in Dr. Woldring's lab at MSU. Uh, today I want to talk about this paper, Directed Evolution for High Functional Production and Stability of a Challenging G-Protein Coupled Receptor, uh, shown here. And so, to start, the um, authors do this because they want to, because GPCRs are a useful therapeutic target, um, and so to start they use a, a yeast uh, expression platform because E. coli um, doesn't always express nicely at the start. Um, so they, they start with this saber technique and make a couple of, of PCR mutations to get the wild type library and then flow cytometry to uh, find the, the best binders or the most stable. Um, and from that they start this as the, the basis for their next library and then they make some more random mutations to it and end up with this uh, 2.3 library, which they then express in E. coli cells um, with a couple different methods, one where it's just in the membrane and then one where they encapsulate, encapsulate the E. coli in a polymer and then uh, solubilize them. Um, and so the, the results are shown here. From this, you have a large amount of data. Um, and so next generation sequencing is required. And this is the uh, sort of setup they have for it, where they start with raw data, and then they only select the reads that have uh, sufficient SR. Um, and you can end up with uh, this data here. From this, you can calculate the, the Shannon entropy of each separate uh, library with the uh, in each position. And so the residues in reddish pink here are the ones that occurred in the in the yeast and then the bluish ones are the ones that occurred from E. coli um, and you can calculate it here um, with or the the values are shown here um, and this is the formula used for the Shannon entropy that they're, they're using in this case um, and finally the authors wanted to uh, check the, the melting temperature versus purification yield and actually you see that the, the most thermally stable uh, GPCR, in this case OTY08, um, actually, or the, the highest production, the highest purification yield is not actually the, the highest thermal stability, um, which the authors uh, pointed out as an in interesting fact. Um, so this was a, a pretty complicated paper with a lot of different steps in it. Um, and if you're interested in one of the areas I, I might have covered a little more quickly, um, I highly recommend you, you check it out.